Hello， 大家好，系我 Grace， 欢迎嚟到我嘅频道。其实我唔知点解我咁开心，<笑>可能系因为今日我哋会一齐学啲广东话。今日我哋会学啲新词语。诶、呃，我已经拍过呢种片，上次我哋学咗三个嘅诶词语。今日我哋会学咩？其实我。仲未決定，我有我嘅書，所以而家我哋會，而家我會揀。Okay, so today we're gonna learn clothes. I know that I was just speaking Cantonese, then I decided to kind of like mix Cantonese and English, just kind of like speak Cantonese where I can. Um, I'm just trying to. 我想講多啲廣東話，所以 like if I know how to say it in Cantonese, I'll try to say it in Cantonese, but. We're not gonna do the whole video on Cantonese. So today we're gonna learn clothes vocabulary. Once again, I'm getting my vocabulary from this book, Illustrated Hong Kong Cantonese. I'll link it down below. Um, and today we're learning clothes.、So、I already know some clothes vocabulary. What do I know? I learned the clothes vocabulary like a very long time ago. So I don't know if I remember. Let's see what I remember. So. I know Sam. So Sam is how you say clothes, right? Sam is how you say clothes. I mean, this is for for how many? Because this this romanization system isn't actually Yupping. It's slightly different to Yupping. So I'm not really sure how to read it. Is it Fukzhong or Fukzhong? I think Fukzhong, right? Or Yi Fuk Yi Fuk. Um. That's a yifu. Is it? Wouldn't that be like written like Cantonese? You guys, let me know in the comments down below. I just call clothes Sam. That's I just like. That's just what I call them. And the word for shirt is also Sam. Yeah, this one says. I don't even. I don't know how to read this because it's not European. It's a bit weird. Um. Okay, let me show you guys the character. Right. I can't read what it says. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see that. Anyway, let's just go with Sam. So Sam, and then the, we need to learn measure words. So the measure word for shirt is gin. So if you don't know about measure words, it's basically when you're saying a something in Cantonese, like you need to have a word. So in English, we just say a book, a shirt, a cup, a bottle, a anything, right? But in Cantonese, it's different. You have to say the number, the measure word, and then what you're saying. If you want to say one shirt, you say. Yet, Gin Sam. If you want to say、um, one book, you say Yet Bun Shu. So the measure word for book is Bun, and then for shirt it's Gin. Do you see what I mean? So it's not actually translated into English because it's just one book, one shirt. But in Cantonese, you have two different words to quantify two different things, right? So for clothes, it's mainly Gin, or I know Tiu. So Tiu is for like. Dresses, skirts, and trousers. So I know a dress is kwan or skirt. It's the same word, right? So yet til kwan, um, one dress or one skirt. If you want to say trousers, I think it's fu. I'm pretty sure it's fu. It's fu. I know jeans is no. Is it no ngai zai fu? Is it? Oh no, it is ngao. I was right. Ngao zai fu. I think ngao zai means cowboy, so ngao zai fu is like cowboy trousers, so jeans. Oh, so for trousers, it's fu. It's actually fu, but it's ngao zai fu. So when you say it with ngao zai, it changes tone from third to second. But when you say it by itself, it's third. So ya tiu fu and ya tiu ngao ya tiu ngao zai fu. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what else do I know? So I know that shoes, um, are high, right? And the like trainers would be ball high, right? Like ball meaning like ball, so like ball shoes, ball high. Um, and then the measure word for that is doi, which means a pair of, I think. So yet doi high, right? One pair of shoes. Um, I think that's all that I remember. I'm pretty sure I learned how to say hat and like jumper and jacket, but I don't remember it. Um, I only remember the basics like trousers, skirts,、um, dresses, shirts, shoes. So we're gonna learn some more clothing vocabulary today. So the word for belt, let's do belt, is 
pay dai pay dai and i think i remember that because in mandarin it's pi dai and i do know pi dai i know that word so pay dai it sounds similar pay dai pi dai okay tai is lang tai i'm pretty sure i remember like talking to one of my Cantonese exchange partners and they told me that Thai was just Thai like it was just Thai so I think it might be just Thai I'm not sure um woolen sweater is lang sam lang sam then sweatshirt is one dong one dong sam okay so one dong means um sports like not sports uh, exercise so one dong sam is um exercise shirt such it makes sense you know i'm glad that it's like this because it helps you remember right one dong san lang san is like cold shirt right mo mo is hat i think the measure word for mo i remember hearing the measure word for mo is only for mo i think is it dang is it dang i think it's dang i think it's dang i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure it's dang I remember like someone telling me that dang they only use it for the word hat because usually a measure word can be used to quantify many different kinds of things right tiu used for dress yet tiu kwan and you use for trousers so but dang you only use for hat i think correct me if i'm if i'm wrong i'm sorry if i'm wrong um scarf is gang gun gang gun so i know gang means neck so that makes sense gang gun scarf coat is low oh my gosh low yeah i know this i know this word i have learned this word before i just forgot it yekin lao yeah one jacket one coat one jacket i'm mad at myself for forgetting that mat for socks i i i, I swear i knew that <laughs> i swear i promise i knew that yet yet yeah one pair of socks right pajamas is is that so ye some of this romanization system i'm not 100 percent. i think it's so it might be so i think it's so because i'm not 100 percent familiar with how to read this because it's not yip ping so i'm going to use cc canto that's the online dictionary that i use if you haven't used that then yeah it is so 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 sam but this one cc canto actually tells me Fun Sam or Fun Gao Sam, and that makes more sense because Fun Gao is to like go to bed, right? Fun is like to sleep, and I feel like so comes from the Mandarin word Shui as in like Shui Jia. So is so more of like written Cantonese because it's the Mandar it's the same as the Mandarin way. Would spoken Cantonese be Fun Sam or Fun Gao Sam? Guys, let me know in the comments below. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not sure. Let me know. I want to know about the nuances and stuff like that. And I want to make sure that I'm not learning written words and only spoken. But I feel like this book should teach you just spoken words because it is Hong Kong Cantonese. So. Sleeveless shirt is Boy Sam. Boy Sam. Is that the same boy as like back? Like boy that is that the same boy? I think so. Let's check. I think it is. So it's like a back shirt. So it shows your back, right? Because it's sleeveless. Okay, I can work with that. You got a notch, notch. How do you say where? It's it's chat. I feel like it's chat. Guys, my Cantonese like I I haven't spoken Cantonese in a while. It's really gotten worse than it used to be before. Is it chat? I think it's chat, but let's check. I'm pretty sure it's chat, but I'm not sure. It might look what it probably won't be chat, but let's just check. Chat. Oh my gosh. It's chat, not chat. Okay. I was close. I was close. Chat. I was close, okay? I was close, alright? <laughs> okay, so you got not chat. Would you say chat gun? No, I don't think so. Maybe? Chicken. You gonna watch chicken. You gonna watch it. I don't know. I don't know. You guys have to let me know. You gonna watch it. Um, I'm just gonna say check. You gonna watch it. Yakin. Well, this is like a hoodie. This is not like a woolen sweater. So I don't know if this is. No, this wouldn't be long sound, would it? How would you call a hoodie? It's not a sweatshirt. 
I don't know, because in America you call this a sweater, right? But in the UK we call this a jumper or a hoodie. But what is that? Okay, let's go back to the dictionary and see. We're learning a lot today. Why ye? I don't know. Okay, let's type in jumper and see what comes up. A woolen jumper is long sound. Yeah, no, that's what that comes up. Long sound or why ye? I don't know. You guys let me know. Uh, but I'm wearing this and then I'm wearing a teal full underneath. Also, for sweatshirt, if sweat, if sweatshirt is one dong sam, so exercise shirt. How do you say exercise clothes? Like if you want to go buy workout clothes, is it also one dong sam? Because, okay, let's type in workout clothes and see what comes up. Nothing comes up. So how would you say if you want to get like some stuff to wear at the gym, for example, is that one dong sam? I don't know. Let me know, guys. I want to know. And then, so I'm going to write, write out the words that we learned and then I'm going to try and record them. Okay, so belt. So belt we said was pei dai, pei dai, right? A scarf we said was gang, gang gun, right? Hat we said was mo. Pajamas we said was in the book, it said so, Sam. But I'm going to go with fun. I don't know. Okay, let's just go with what the book says. Sorry, Sam. And then, coat was low. And then, sleeveless shirt was boy, Sam, right? So, a lot of this clothing vocabulary, I, I actually have already learned. So, this was more like a recap lesson for me. But if you didn't know clothing vocabulary, I hope you learned some today. I'll put all the vocab in the description below. And yeah, also comment down below if you speak Cantonese for like any other stuff that I was confused on. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe for more Cantonese and language related videos. And yeah, I hope continues to learn Cantonese. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.